In a recent exclusive interview with Zoom, Saif Ali Khan shared his pointers and thoughts about the film Kabir Singh and the impact it has had on society. Let's take a look at this interview and we'll talk about it right after. No, I've never been aware of the social or political or, you know, the ramifications or the effect of this role on society. I've never thought of that. I've only thought of the dramatic potential and the interest in this story. I've never thought whether, uh, and maybe I should have, I mean, there was a film I was offered, you know, like Batla House. But somebody said, oh, good you didn't do it, you know, because it's kind of anti-Muslim, is what I heard. But I never thought that. I never yeah. thought, I don't think in terms, that's not where I go as an actor. Just like, you know, can I, do I want to do this or not? So if something is misogynistic or something, I think it depends on whether it just turns me on as a script or not. And if someone's making it, I mean, of course, if it's blatantly socially irresponsible, maybe it would not appeal to me. Maybe, you know, or maybe the situations that guy is in would not be situations I would enjoy performing. So okay. then that's why we're all different, you know. And, and then you probably say that, you know, can we make those changes? Or I don't want to do this because I, I don't want to wake up in the morning and come there and, and do this, yeah. you know. But if the entire country laps up something and they love it, it makes you think that, you know, what are we doing? And um, and are we making, I mean, are we making the right kind of ent entertainment and should we be preaching or should we give the people what they want? I don't know. I mean, these guys who have made it will be laughing all the way to the bank. I feel like the, the glorification part of it and there's no sort of, in simpler words, punishment. I think the audience ultimately decides, you know, there are certain things I remember when Spike Lee made that film Old Boy. So when there's an incestuous scene between a father and daughter, nobody wants to see that and the film doesn't, doesn't run. So people won't make it mm. because that's, you know, kind of disgusting and people were like, that's yeah. not happening. So the audience draws the line where they say, oh God, no, no, we don't want to watch this. But if they do want to watch it, then there's a guy who'd be willing to do that, you know. Um, the producer would be willing to make the money for sure. And the actor might be excited to cross that line and do something whatever, but there is a satisfaction yeah. um, that's important when it comes to movies where people have to relate and root for and support certain characters and justice has to be done. Mm. Or, you know, Aristotle called it what, catharsis. Absolutely. Right, it has to happen. That it you have to, to watch it and say, ah, this, this guy oh. should have got this or that guy should not get this. I mean, the you male know? stalker is almost a genre for Indian cinema. I mean, you know, it's like, uh, the obsessive lover Correct. and the unloved lover, it's that quiet, you know, poor chap and, and somehow it's always been successful mm. and, you know, Shah Rukh Khan made his career on it in the beginning mm. and so people loved it. Well, that was Saif Ali Khan, very articulate, precise and clear on what his point of view is. But I want to ask the audience, do you agree with Saif? Does the Indian audience like talking for based films a lot of people? And does it make this way that Bollywood is talking for based films? Do let us know using our hashtag below. Manish, what do you think? What do I think? Wow. Okay, so we're going back to Kabir Singh as a conversation again. Okay, and of course, like we, like you said, very uh, clearly, Saif is so articulate and he puts his point across so well. Now, there are so many things ki unho, jo unho ne kaha hai, which uh, have resonated really well with me, at least. Starting with the fact that, yes, there are films like this that are being made. Bazigar is not an original concept or it is not film ke upar, uh, based and it has been copied from somewhere else. But the audiences have loved it and we've seen this through time. You know, audiences have loved films like this and uh, and that and that is the real question ki why is why audiences loving it you know what is happening out there in people's minds ki wo log, uh, ki, ki logon ko ye film mein pasand hai. now uh, I'll just share a personal experience with you I have done a show on uh, a web show on uh, which is pride pride primarily and predominantly based on stalking. but it's the other way around the guy is not stalking the girl the girl is stalking the guy hmm. so in this case we faced a lot of criticism where people said ki aap aise shows kaise bana sakte hain how can you show a woman in such a light maine is show pe bhi kafi baar kaha hai ki cinema and filmmaking is all a reflection of life hmm. now whether it impacts society and uh, ch changes people's social perspective is uh, you know a, a give and take it, it 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 all depends and is very subjective but this is what we are doing here this is what we're trying to do here is create something that we're seeing in real life and we're trying to depict it onto a larger screen and 
what is happening with Kabir Singh is actually great right now. Right, see, uh, we're not only uh, talking only about Kabir Singh, we're talking mm. about all those films where there is misogynistic behavior ko celebrate kiya gaya hai, jahan glorify kiya gaya hai, agar aap kisi uh, women par atyachar kar rahe ho, mm. pehle aisi kai saari filmen hai, it's a long list, uh, lekin yahi to baat hai Manish, that mm. now uh, people have become more intelligent. Mm. There has been, uh, you know, a rise of social media, the world has become smaller. Mm. Now we realize, and I think even uh, actors like uh, Amir Khan have realized it and they regret it for the films they've done. They've done songs uh, where you know, khud ko kya samajhti hai, itna akkarti hai. Those uh, kind of songs which became a super hit back then, they realized over the time that we were actually glorifying, stalking a girl and we were eve teasing or uh, impact अब कितना पड़ता है बहुत पड़ता है अगर बॉलीवुड और क्रिकेट दो पल से हमारे नेशन के एंड जितना इंपैक्ट इंपैक्ट और इन्फ्लुएंस बॉलीवुड का पड़ता है शायद ही किसी और चीज का पड़ता हो तो आई थिंक दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग हैज कम इन आफ्टर मेनी मेनी इयर्स and I think if you realize it, like Saifali Khan mentioned that, you know, he does not think, uh, you know, kya impact ya a political impact padta hai mm, society mm, par. Mm. I only think about the dramatic potential it has. Correct. But I think it's high time we do start thinking because responsibility lies in the filmmakers and the actors who choose the script as well. Right. I mean, we have spoken about it uh, right here yesterday, in fact, ki, uh, you know, there is a responsibility of films on society and, you know, vice versa. I agree with that. I'm not taking away from it. But yeah. all that I'm trying to say here is that it is a reflection of life. Filmmaking is a reflection of life. It's like what we see around us is what we project out there. Or it's not that stalking in our country or in the world exists. It does exist. And yeah. that is what filmmaking is about. It's trying to show you what does exist. Now, if we look at 80s films, then in those films, even like a little further back, there were films which were super hits about, you know, the, the mother-in-law suppressing the daughter-in-law. Yeah. Or, you know the victim uh, uh, feminine the victim female character and that has changed yeah. because why because these characters were shown it was showed that these women are going through X Y and Z and right. it was the audience up to the audience to decide whether that was right or wrong now by going and watching a film does not mean that they are uh, you know encouraging or endorsing true, uh, true, uh, true. abuse towards women they're going to watch it so I feel like films like this when they have a larger audience they're impacting a lot more people yeah. there's more conversation that's generated and the 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 attempt to change society and it's a whole it's a whole multiplier effect but that you know, happens. Manish, I'd like to cut you there. Mm. I understand when you say it's a reflection of society, we're mm. trying to show not that stalking does not exist. I mm. agree. But if you glorify that in a film, that is where the problem lies. Correct. You have to show the ramifications, you have to show the consequences, the stalker faces in mm. the uh, in the film. If you're trying to be misogynistic, if you're trying to be uh, you're trying to show a patriarchal society, mm. you need to show in the end that that does not win you know mm. because uh, we are so used to seeing happy endings in our Bollywood films and we like to come out smiling from the theatres so we kind of forget jo bhi atyachar us character ne agar kiya hai us movie mein in the end everything's fine so people are gone back happy home no but voi mein keh raha hon ki this is reality there are men like this who exist who will abuse you know their female partners or whoever partners they will abuse their partners and still get away with it scot free and that is exactly what I'm trying to say that a film like Kabir Singh is a reflection of what happens in society, what happens in life. And this is what also I'm trying to say, ki now look what's happened. A film, Kabir Singh, which was released, was a very big hit. Bani hai, mm. And suddenly there are these conversations about what we are thinking as a people which have started, which if you think about it in, in a very indirect manner, Kabir Singh has done exactly what it's supposed to do, which is create an awareness. Well, that's your perspective. I completely disagree. I still believe that movie has so much potential. I honestly do like the film, but I have major problems with a particular scene, two or three scenes that are shown. Mm. The filmmaker could have chosen to show it in a way which could Still, the gist remains the same, but it will still impact the society in a positive way. Khair, uh, these are discussions. I will, I will just end my point over yeah. here by saying, once again, repeating, that filmmaking is, uh, the, the social impact filmmaking has is a byproduct of the fact that here we are trying to create and replicate what life shows us. That's what I want to say here. All right, point given. But on Saif Ali Khan, I don't agree with that they said that we are the ones who want to see the audience. Khair, 
मेरे को ऐसा लगता है कि ऑडियंस वही देखती है जो आप दिखाते हो और बहुत सालों तक लोगों ने एक चीज देखी yeah. अब जब हमें इतनी इतना एक्सपोजर मिला है वी आर सींग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट आई थिंक पीपल हैव एक्सेप्टेड ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट टू सी समथिंग न्यू एंड वी हैव टू इवन अंडरस्टैंड दैट ऑडियंस हैज बिकम इंटेलिजेंट एंड तो उनकी जो देखने की चाहत है वो उसी उसी तक सीमित नहीं है विच यू थिंक दे वॉन्ट टू सी सो वेल दिस इज अ बिग डिस्कशन विच इज नेवर एंडिंग बट वीड लाइक टू एंड इड विथ यू डू लेट इज नो डू यू अग्री विद सैफ अली खान यूज अ हैश टैग एंड कॉमन बिलो Watch Planet Bollywood from Monday to Friday at 9 p.m. only on Zoom.